Sir, your thoughts on that game? What went wrong tonight? Yeah, obviously a tough one for us. Um, I think we could kind of tell early that we had to be a bit more sharp. And then obviously they get two at the end of uh, period two, and then you know we come out in the uh, third with an opportunity to kind of you know chase the game down and. We just never do it. So um, I think all in all, when you look at the game and you look at the effort, it was uh, it was disappointing. Is it even more disappointing because the fans have waited so long to watch you guys in person in a full, full, close to full building? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we care deeply about our fans, and you know, we're very fortunate to have uh, um, you know great support system here in Toronto and to have them back in the building. But ultimately, it's it's even more disappointing just the points that you know you don't get. Um, obviously, we want to win for the fans and. You know, have them enjoy the game, but uh, as players, you know, I think the most important thing is 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 the points at the end. You know, if you look at the playoff race, we're right there, and you lose a game like this, it's I mean, that's the that's the biggest disappointment. Why didn't you guys pick up a bit after the first game of market when things were still tied? Pardon, sorry. Why, why, why you guys yeah. I mean, um, I think it's just a matter of urgency. I think if if. I mean, that's, I think, what you would expect out of our group, you know, when you go in for um, intermission to come out and, you know, play better. Um, and, I mean, I think we talked about the right things in our room between periods. I think, you know, we knew what the game plan was. We knew we needed more, and uh, it just didn't come. So that's ultimately, uh, you know, a big reason why, you know, we were never able to claw back in the game um, and, and, and very disappointing. The power play has been, power play has been having trouble lately. Mm -hmm. Coach was saying the other day that he thinks other teams are scouting you guys differently yeah. or catching up to you. Guys. Yeah. So what do you guys got to do to turn that around? Well, I think that's normal, you know, especially this time in the in the year. Um, um, I think we're pretty high in the overall standings for our power play percentage. Uh, if you go back to Detroit, I don't think we had one. Then you go to Washington. I thought it was just a matter of execution on the players' part. You know, not a matter of pre-scout, not a matter of game plan. That was on the players. And then here tonight, I thought, I mean, we had one, I think. Um, and we were moving around pretty good, and just you know, it just didn't go. Um, so it's it's on us to kind of stick with it. And you know, other teams are going to pre-scout our power play. They're going to pre-scout our penalty kill, forecheck, every aspect of our game. And it's on us to do the same to them. Um, so I wouldn't. I mean, that's not surprising. Is it just human nature to think the goals are going to come when you play against these teams that are near the bottom of the standings? I'm thinking of the Montreal game too. Right. Right. I think that it probably is human nature, um, but that can't be our, our mentality. Um, I mean, you know, good teams historically in games like this are able to play with great structure and win and dominate. Um, so to have the mindset that the goals are going to come, you know, whether that's human nature or not, I don't know. But I think that is able to creep in. Uh, I don't know whether it did tonight or not. I can't, I can't speak to that yet. Um, but you know the good teams are able to look past the standings and the situation and just worry about the time of year and the game. What can Rasmus take from from a night like this? I mean, he's a great player. Uh, you know, obviously a big goal for us, and then a big goal the other night. And he's playing good hockey. Um, and I mean, I, I like I got to look back and watch those goals. I'm on the ice with him, so it's not it's not him. It's not our goalie. It's not any of the forwards. Um, it's it's ultimately on the group as a whole to keep the puck out of our net. And, and and go put it in theirs and you know it's not ever been just one guy in the history of of hockey and yet that was obviously not the case tonight and you know certainly not on him is this one you just kind of feel like you flush as a blip kind of game yeah it's, it's always a battle trying to decide which ones you flush and which ones you uh you try to flip the table about and you know try, try to spark something but uh i guess we'll wait and see i mean uh, obviously it's not the effort that we expected it's not the effort that um is our standard um and we expect better uh you know, and i think that as players we have to decide you know we're just going to move past it or we're going to you know hone in on some details and some plays that happen tonight that need to get cleaned up